So we need to add the Omnioth Twitter gem to our gem file to uh, set up that library so we can connect our Rails app to our Twitter app. And so we can run bundle add Omnioth Twitter or you can add it directly to your gem file. This will do that for you and run bundle install. Make sure you've run bundle install if you add the gem manually. And once we've got that, we can go into our app and we'll go to the config folder and under initializers folder, we'll add a new file called omnioth.rb. So this is where we're gonna define uh, the omnioth setup and we're gonna add that to our Rails application by calling config.middleware.use omnioth builder and we'll say provider is Twitter and that will go look up the Omnioth Twitter gem for us. And we'll say rails.application.credentials.dig Twitter API key. And we'll do the same here. So let me grab this. And the next one, the next argument is the API secret. So it's basically the same as the line before, just in using secret instead of key. And that's all we have to do to set this up. We're gonna to need to restart a Rails server if we haven't already, so go ahead and shut this down and restart it and our Omnioth gem will be ready to go. So our Rails app is actually going to have some special routes that don't show up in our routes file. So if we run Rails routes, um, we won't see anything here with the Omnioth changes that we added. So these are all of our routes um, and you don't see anything in here for Omnioth, but Omnioth actually has included a route for us, and that route is slash auth slash Twitter. So this is going to be processed by that middleware that we installed with, um, with Omnioth, and that's going to take us to Twitter. Now I've already authorized our application, so you saw me get redirected to Twitter and then redirected back to our Rails app. So now we're on that auth Twitter callback URL that's in our settings in our Twitter app. And we have this OAuth token and OAuth verifier up here in the URL. So Rails is now doing that process back and forth, going from our Rails app to Twitter to back. And it's making an API call to get our um, Twitter API tokens. And we can save those now by adding a route in our app that matches auth Twitter callback. And we can then take the parameters from Omnioth, save them to our database and connect our Twitter account. So it's actually pretty straightforward to do this. What we're gonna need is a uh, get for auth Twitter callback. And we wanna point this to Omnioth callbacks controller and the Twitter action. So we'll go into app controllers, We'll add a file, Omnioth callbacks, controller.rb, class Omnioth callbacks, controller. This is a Rails application controller as usual, and we'll have our Twitter action in here. So now we can just say something like render plain success. And we should be able to see that if we go back to our app and we say auth Twitter, Omnioth will take over, redirect us to Twitter, and send us back. So we get our success, and we know that that is all wired up. So the next piece is actually to connect the Omnioth controller to our database. And we're going to need to create a model for saving our Twitter accounts.